Welcome to Friday Rules. This time I would like to show you the generic CSV text log alert rule. We are going to monitor a log file called FridayLog01.log, which is located in the C logs directory. The application App01 creates log entries, which are separated by semicolon. The third position gives us the application name and the fourth position the status, for example, failed. If both conditions are true, I would like to receive an alert. In addition, I would like to output all parameters into the alert description. So I'm connected now to my lab environment. Go to authoring, go to rules, right click, create a new rule. Alert generating rules, go to generic CSV text log alert and first we are going to create an empty management pack. We call it friday.rules and give it short description like manage management pack for storing friday rules. Click next and create. Hit next. We need to give the rule a name like Friday generic CSV alert rule. Add a description like rule will alert if app 01 fails. We leave the rule category as it is, choose a target. We are going to use Windows Server Operating System class, which basically will hit all Windows Server in our environment. If you would like to target only few servers, create the group in SCOM, add the service into, into the group, Disable the rule here and create an override for that group. Click Next. Provide the directory where the logs are located. That's C logs. And the pattern is the log file name. Like um, we are going to use asterisk.log, which is uh, basically any log or any file that ends with the dot lock um, suffix and as a separator we will use a semicolon uh, you could use also any other um, separator like a pipe comma and so on uh, although uh, CSV in the rule name refers to comma separated value it doesn't has to be any uh, comma or anything like that so um, if the file is UTF-8 encoded, then you need to set the check mark here. And if it then asks your Unicode file, then you can leave it as it is. Click Next. Next, we are going to construct the expression to, for monitoring our log file. So for the third position, we are monitoring for the parameter app01 and on the fourth position there should be the expression failed. Contains app01 And as you can see here, it adds the add condition. If both of those are true, the condition is met and the rule will trigger an alert. Next. The alert name is the same as the rule name. We leave it as it is. And delete the alert description. 
go to event data, data item, and add the parameter value like this. For parameter one, we add the expression like this. Then copy and paste. Adjust the values for the third and fourth position. And we will add some more text like the application. And just to show the other parameters, we will write them like this and a label like um, two. Click OK and hit create. As you can see, I scope down to the Windows Server Operating System class. This will show just the rule which is targeted at this class. Let's go to monitoring. Go to active alerts and there is no alert right now. In C logs I created the Friday log 01.log file. It is empty currently now. And there are two other files which contain the content I, I am going to add into the log file we are monitoring. Let's open the full CSV application log.txt. As you can see, there is date, time, and there is the first separator, a semicolon. There is some more text, and there is another separator. And on the third position, we will see which application is logging into this file. And on the fourth position, we see if it was success or if there is no status available. So that's the first section, second, third, and fourth. Okay. In single CSV line log into TXT, I will use this line to trigger an alert. It is constructed the same way as in the application CSV log. We have first date time, semicolon, some more text, semicolon, the application, and there is status failed. To generate the alerts, because I don't have an application, which is actually actually creating those alerts, I will use PowerShell. I use the get content commandlet, which reads the content from the C logs, CSV application log txt, and dumps it out to the Friday log 01.log. If everything works the way it should, now I should not receive an alert but I should see the content in this log file.
Now let's trigger an alert. I will use the same commandlet, but I will, this time I'm going to use the single CSV line log entry, which contains our error and append it to the Friday log 01.log. Let's wait a moment. And there is our alert. Here in the alert description we see the application app01 has failed and parameter 1 and parameter 2. It should be the same as the last line here. Perfect. So we accomplished our goal and I thank you very much for watching.